how you doing? Good to have you again. I'm here to give you a free art lesson. I'm glad you stopped by. I love it. Now trees, we're going to do some trees today. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to do them pretty quickly. Big trees, you know, uh, uh, if you want to do a maple tree or you want to do a scotch pine or you want to do this or that, it's up to you. I don't bother with the names of them. I, don't, I couldn't tell you the names of them. But I know that I like them. So I've taken a, um, a one-inch muslin brush, and uh, I use this quite a bit. It's a wonderful brush. You can get them anywhere. So anyway, we know that the light source normally hits the top of trees, unless it's an overcast day. Today is not going to be overcast. So I'm going to just, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this, see how I push the brush? See? So this is the bottom of the tree. And why would this be the bottom? Well, because there's no, and there'll probably be two or three trees together here. Maybe they're just a group of trees. So you see all of this is still wet and you, you've seen me push the, the um, paint into it. Now I'm gonna go to a much lighter green, a leaf green. And I'm gonna hit that while it's wet so it runs into You can hear me scrape the brush, can't you? You can hear me just scrape it. And when I get to the outside, then I'll put a little stuff on the outside to make it uh, look leafy. But I'm not going to put it all on. Okay? Now... I'm just going to go back in with a little dock up into this light area because to break that up, I want to break that up a little bit. And um, we don't have to pay too much to it. I've got a shape there. And uh, green automatically says what? Vegetation. I don't care if it's grass or trees or whatever. It, is. it just says vegetation to me. So anyway... All right, now, all we have to do now is put a little bit of a, I put some Van Dyke Brown and some ultramarine blue together. The ultramarine's gonna make it a little darker. And so I'm going to put a little trunk on it, sneak that trunk on And don't bring the trunk down straight. These trees are old. They've grown crooked. See that? The strength of the sun is, is, is what's going to tell you. You put a, you build a, a tree or plant a tree out in, in the uh, sun, and by golly, you're going to get, it's going to go right to that, uh, right to the sun. That's where it's going to go. I'm just sticking a little bit of orange in there, just anything. Anything at all. Just to break up that brown. Now we may have a leaf that, uh, or a branch that goes up there. See that? Branch goes up there. Okay. Are you with me? Okay, good. Now, along the water, we just run some water in there and get us a little foundation. We don't have to worry too much about these things. What I can worry about is uh, maybe we can uh, bring this up. Here's, here's a little 
and then maybe it goes up in there and maybe we have another one that goes up and hides and then this goes under and how's that? Well, that might be too much. You judge that. You judge that yourself. You can look at it and say, well, I have put too much there. Well, that's pretty easy to, to, uh, to uh, handle. No big deal. And there we are. So you can take it out. Or you can add a little bit of yellow to the top. Okay. Gives us another color, something else to look at. And it's higher on the tree, so naturally it's going to be warmer, close to the light source. And maybe there's a nice little blue in, in the wood here. Something like that. Okay. Get the picture? And who knows, maybe we can use that over here someplace. Maybe that's this. Who knows? We'll see. Well, I've had some fun today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please contact me at my studio, 336-209-2505. And just tell me that you've uh, seen one of our videos and uh, name the video and ask me what I've done and I'll try to explain it to you. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you again soon.